Now, in theory, we didn't have what I consider to be serious gang banging here in the state of Minnesota, where we was having tags everywhere. That was marking territory, where we had projects set up everywhere, where in one area you couldn't wear red, and in another area you couldn't wear blue. We didn't have what I consider to be a high population of essays that was getting out of jail from being detained for crossing the border. So now they're linking up in jail, creating essay games where you have gang violence that's super ridden in Minnesota. I thought that one year we had about 50, 100 killings maybe. I can't remember. It was a lot for Minnesota, but I guess I just wasn't in the area where I was hearing all the shooting and then walking out my door and seeing all the killing. Like I remembered the one serious shooting up there on 26 where the corner store uh, had a rivalry of boys and they were now shooting at each other and as they were shooting they shot a little boy uh, he was six years old they said that the kids was at home uh, with a teenager that was watching them and as they were going to higher ground I believe the uh, kid took him upstairs and the little boy got shot going up the stairs and died I thought that was so tragic, but they closed that story out. You know, we did have some issues like that. We had that issues with, was it Bernie Wilkes, where they said she was driving down the block. You know, these were high profile cases, but not, not necessarily like a lot in numbers. They were like sporadic. So like when my Aunt Mary wanted to get this, you know, program where you know she was trying to get people together I didn't like it I didn't think it fit Minnesota and I thought you should go somewhere like California try that shit there could you see you know like back in the day Snoop uh, the gang members where the vice lords had to now sit down with the Crips because again y'all had areas that was boxed up linked up due to the high population in jail and then y'all suiting and booting up in jail, right? And then bringing that shit to the streets. The Black Panthers, if I'm not mistaken, although it was started for this, ended up being that. Same thing for the Crips. They said it started for this, and then it ended up being that. And then it became about who, for me, was the Crip leader, who was the Vice Lord leader, you know, who was the Black Panther leader, and then were they fighting each other? Were they working together? I mean, you people, you know, again, sometimes exaggerate. And when you exaggerate, it pisses me off. That's why I like Minnesota. Because, see, we didn't have one that. And I don't appreciate, you know, trying to act like we did. I don't. And if that's how you always got to get supports and services, I'm thinking, well, damn, how do we get to be rich? Like, how did we get to be the fifth richest? Like, was it because you were lying and stacking money? You know, lying on us and then stacking money? Because I said, my area, if you think about it, and we need a billion police, shit, we were getting a lot of funds for the police in a city fund, right? So then the city got a lot of funds for a lot of police. But they weren't being paid big bucks. So then, you know, really it was just the city's money. Right? Now you audit the city like people like Bob. Well, how much did you really get?